What energy changes occur when chemical bonds are formed and broken? The thing you have to remember is that chemical bonds are attractions generally between positive charged and minus charged things. Sorry about that. I had a pencil stored up high on a shelf for some reason. That means that chemical bonds are releasing energy when those two come together, which is what they want to do. And it actually takes energy to pull them apart. The way I teach this in my class is that chemical bonds are pencils, not pinatas. A pinata you may put a little bit of energy into to break it open, but then stuff comes flowing out once it's broken. Nothing comes out of a bond when you break it. When you're breaking a bond between two atoms, all you're actually doing is separating two charges from each other. A chemical bond is much more like a pencil where you would actually have to put effort in to snap it in half, and then it's broken and there's nothing more happening. To summarize, chemical energy is required, or you can say absorbed by the system, when chemical bonds are being broken. On the other hand, chemical energy is released when bonds are formed. I don't feel like wasting your time by rewriting that whole sentence there. Chemical energy is needed and put into the system when you're trying to break bonds. And if bonds are being formed, that is where chemical energy is released. Cool. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.